video, we want to find the limit as x and y approach 0, 0 of negative x over the square root of x squared plus y squared. Let's look along the path y equals x, where x is positive. So we're going to replace y with x, and this reduces to just finding the limit as x approaches 0 from the right, since x is positive. We have negative x over square root of x squared plus x squared. Add those to get 2x squared. And now because x is positive here, the square root of x squared will just be x, and that's going to cancel with the numerator, and we're left with negative 1 over root 2 as our limit. Now we're going to look at the same path, y equals x, but we're going to look at it from the negative direction. So we have 0 approaching it from the left, and then negative x over the square root of x squared plus x squared. That's going to be 2x squared in the denominator. And in general, whenever you take the square root of x squared, that's just going to equal absolute value of x. But we know the absolute value of x is defined to be x if x is greater than or equal to 0, and negative x if x is less than 0. So this square root of x squared becomes absolute value of x. And because we're looking at 0 from the left, the absolute value of x is going to equal negative x. The negatives are going to cancel. So is the x. And I'm left with 1 over root 2. So what we did was we took two different paths, found two different limits, and so the limit does not exist.